Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to glory and honor to take a hell of Shem. Take a hell of Shad, by Shem, a Karkadash. Shalom to the uh, elders. Well, I can well, I can, when I say Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out a quick sit down lesson of uh, the prophet Isaiah 45, verse 7. And that's going to be the title of the sit down lesson. And this is uh, the prophet Isaiah 45, verse 7. It reads It says, I form the light, I create darks, I make creeks, I create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, thy power does all these things. Right? So the Heavenly Father, He does all these things and He's in control of everything. That's why he's going to visit this earth now so more than ever, just like it says in 2nd Ezra, the ninth chapter. So, <clears throat> the Heavenly Father definitely create light. He create darkness. He create peace. He create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh does all these things. And we're definitely going to be seeing this increasing in these uh, modern day times of the signs of the times. Because the Heavenly Father is going to visit this earth now so more than ever. With the tornadoes, the earthquakes, the famines, the pestilence, the plagues. You know, just like it says in Second Edges, uh, Second Edges 15 verse 5, it says, Behold, saith the Lord, Yahweh thy power, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. So these spirits created for vengeance, just like it says in Ecclesiastes 39 verse 28 through verse 30. You know, we're going to see all this increasing because all this was created and designed by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh thy power. So I'm going to read again the prophet Isaiah 45 and verse 7. I form the light, I create darkness, I made peace, I create evil, I the Lord does all these things. Just like that bridge collapsed. Hey, that was that was designed and orchestrated by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh thy power. What the scripture says, it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the uh, true living power, which is Yahweh thy power. Allah Shayam tell with demon like power, the true living power, which is Yahweh thy power. I form the light, I create darkness, I make peace, I create evil, I the Lord does all these things, right? So the heavenly father, the eye without power, he does all these things. And he's a uh, righteous, balanced, ultimate power. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 14. For Yahweh thy power shall bring every work into judgment and every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Right, so the heavenly father, he creates the good, he creates the bad, he creates the evil. He creates peace, he creates likeness, he creates darkness. The Lord, the Heavenly Father, the Yahweh, thy power, he does all these things because he's in control of everything, you know. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was edifying. You know, just a quick sit-down lesson that I wanted to bring out about the prophet Isaiah 45, verse 7. So that shows you that the Heavenly Father, he controls everything. He's a righteous, balanced power, you know. So with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Akar Kadash. In the heavenly Father, the true name is like Yahweh, and his only begotten Son, Bahashem, in the name Hamashiach Kabashah. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kadash, the Hotel. And I say Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'akim, Wa'akwaf. Until next time, I will say Shalom.